Hey there, people of the internet! My name is Savannah, and welcome to my studio. Today's video is another Michigan Pokemon drawing because I just can't stop. But this time I thought I'd show off one of my legendaries, based on the mythical water panther Michi Peshu from Native American folklore. Also, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell if you haven't already, and if you would like to support me further, consider joining my Patreon to get the cool art I do as downloadable backgrounds and coloring pages. Now without further ado, let's get into the drawing. I already have most of the sketch done here because I was just messing around with a lot of different styles and poses and just getting really frustrated, so I didn't record any of it. Um, but the Mishi- <laughs> But this is Mishishu, the Great Lake Pokemon. So all of the descriptions of the Mishi Peshu say that it has the face and upper body of a cat, like a lynx. So I don't know why they call it the Water Panther, especially since Mishi Peshu translates to the Great Lynx. But anyway, and it has either the lower body or just the tail of a fish or serpent, and is adorned with bull horns and razor-like spikes that go all down its back. But as you see, I found a couple other artist renditions of the Mishi Peshu, and found this one on the bottom right, I think, um, and decided to use its horn shape, which made me think of the ancient Chinese dragons. So this legendary lake monster is water and dragon type. I thought about giving it a scale pattern, but it looks stupid, so I scrapped that idea. I did keep its nose plates and gave it some leg guards, uh, still going on the Chinese dragon aesthetic. While this is a legendary, it isn't going to be the box legendary, so to speak. Instead, it's going to be part of a trio, like the legendary birds and dogs. But its other counterparts are going to look absolutely nothing like it. <laughs> I really like this angular style of line work, where I just do solid strokes and get those nice sharp edges and points. It looks very Pokemon to me. I also think Mishishu would fit in, would fit right in with Entei, Raikou, and Suicune. Line work is pretty boring, so I'm going to regurgitate some info I read on the Wi Mishi Peshu Wikipedia page. According to the Algonquins, the Great Lynx was the most powerful being in the underworld, which just sounds super rad and is a really big title, and that it was the master of all water creatures. And in some creation myths, myths, <laughs> there were whole communities of Mishi Peshu, which just makes me think of cute little devil water kittens. I should draw a baby Mishi Shu one of these days. I apologize for all the flips as I move out of the angular lines and into the more flowy, curved lines for the tail and whiskers. And side note, I'm just super in love with this tail. Like, I'm so proud of myself, you guys. I just think it looks really good because it kind of looks like fur, but it also looks like it could be like, like fin texture, like the fins on its legs. I don't know. I like it. Now time for the coloring, which goes pretty quick, though I do play around with the different combinations to see what I like the best. I went pretty simple for the shading, with some nice hard shadows and a few airbrush accents. The highlights for the fur, though, is kind of a new style for me. So I actually did this one before the snails and the fossil redesigns, so this was my first time trying out this style of hard highlights that I just lightly blend to give it a kind of a shimmering look, and now I just can't stop using it on everything. I love how it makes the tail look like it's textured. Like is it scales? Is it fur? Is it wet? I don't know. I just think it's neat. Then I just plop in the background and it's all done! I decided to darken the blue fur like a lot so that the lighter shiny version really contrasts and I think it just looks much better. 
Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to see me do more like this, uh, or just see me do more, uh, be sure to give it a like, leave a comment, and again, subscribe if you haven't already. As always, take care and I'll see you in the next one.